Hello, it's Tess Whitehurst, and in the Northern Hemisphere, this upcoming Sunday is Beltane, or May Day. Um, this literally translates to bright fire, and this is a time when we, in many parts of the Northern Hemisphere, we really and truly feel like we're entering into the bright half of the year. So this is the opposite side of the wheel of the year of Samhain, or Halloween, and during that time, it's really clear that we are culturally gazing into the dark. It's like we know we're entering a time when we're going to be retreating, when we're going to be looking within. We bring up the topic of death, and this is the opposite. So this is the time when we're emerging from the dark half and entering fully into the light half. So this is a time of expansion and birth and life and being seen and known. So here's my Beltane intention, and I wanted to share it with you because I think it might be inspiring for other people too. Um, it's my intention to gaze bravely into the light because we don't really think about it, but there actually are some kind of scary things about the light, right? It's like if you just think of just bathing in light, it does feel like like when it's like today it's it's a warm day and I'm used to, not used to having my skin being exposed to the the brightness and the warmth and it does feel like it it's it is kind of vulnerable. It's a kind of a vulnerable time and that's because we're shining light and shining light into dark places and being being more visible. And so it it reminds Reminds me, the way I'm thinking of this intention reminds me of this quote by Marianne Williamson, which you may have heard. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? So what if we set the intention to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? We are. And to just allow ourselves to be that, to gaze bravely into the light. So setting that intention at Beltane and setting that intention for the entire bright half of the year to let our light be our light, to let our light shine, to be brave about gazing into our own light. Fun, right? Um, okay. So that's what I wanted to tell you. Um, tomorrow night, our web chat for the Good Vibe Tribe is all about Beltane. So if you're interested in the Good Vibe Tribe, go to my website, TessWhitehurst.com, and click on the Good Vibe Tribe banner at the top. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.